See, the only reason why they really giving you an ID is just a, as a form of like a registry. That's all it is. And like many of these high level Freemasons know that like you can use a card instead of an ID. However, of course the card is private. You just move in the private sector. That's all you're doing essentially if you, you know, want to move into this uh, sovereignty thing from a perspective of still keeping things and tangible resources. Like I was saying, like you want to keep your car and things of that nature, you just got to privatize it and basically take it from out of the state's control and, and, begin, and, and begin to become your own financier and finance your own, essentially your own lifestyle and your own ID even. So like, I'm gonna give you an example, like like I was telling you on that last episode, I had um, kind of put in a credit wager with a particular um, sporting event that was going on as a form of a um, credit, I guess you could say a commodity or a form of a collateral so that I can put in for application to get a studio. So I, what I went ahead and did is I use, I'm just gonna work with the number three. I'm not gonna tell you guys like exactly how much, but I monetized over pretty much over $2,000, I'll tell you that much, to invest into this. I monetized over $2,000, well actually over $3,000 actually to be exact. It was like about 3,000 even. In, in monetization today, and the way I did that, I'm explaining to you how I did that, is that I took out a little bit of credit from some of my other videos and I financed my way to cross over water, which you can get a credit voucher for that for crossing over water if you do it a certain amount of times. And depending on what level you're on, so I crossed over water. So every time I cross over water, depending on how I do it, I could take out $2,000 in credit. And that's what I just did on this particular um, episode or whatever. So I crossed over the water and then I used that as a wager to put in for a particular event as a $2,000 wager. And if my team wins, of course, if there's any profit, I can use that as credit. And then tomorrow, what I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna go ahead, well, I'm not gonna say tomorrow, but maybe in the next, I'll say, give me about five days, cause I'm very busy, but within the next five days, I'll probably put it up before then, but I'm just saying at the longest. In the next five days, I'm gonna show you guys what happened with the application process. And like, did it get accepted? And mind you, I have no paperwork, no identification with any um, states. I have, a, I have financed a visa, is what I've done an acceptance for a value program and it started out in Fulton County I want to send a shout out to Fulton County and it's actually grown through several cities because of some um, allegiance that I have with Mexico and what people don't know is, is that Mexico see they control most of the cities and I'm not gonna explain to you how it's a chain of command but if you want to call yourself a city there's a chain of command or a process that you got to go through to finance it depending on how more the more powerful your city is will depend on the more you know about how to finance a city so this is where i'm getting at your id is a form of a finance and the governor essentially taxes you through your id and uses your tax as an instrument to trade on the stock market and makes a profit and cashes out and puts it back into the bank every day that's all they're doing and he keeps the profit for himself and he gets a percentage so i'm doing the same thing and this is what i get attacked for you know things of that nature however i have a lot of people working with me at this point because it's growing and when i do the same thing Except I just, instead of using one state and doing this in one state, I'm doing this in various states. So I'll come back up with you with more. I just wanted to let you guys know that that, that went successful. And I'm putting in another wager for this um, application process that we're going to do on the next um, episode coming. So as always, stay vigilant and keep it moving. And oh yeah, by the way, I do want to say, I didn't say this, I want to put this in. That, um, that $3,000 wager turned into, I saw it as... Um, it turned into a $13,000 profit. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm going to receive that in credit. What's going to happen is, is that if I fill out this application, I do my lettering correctly, meaning that if I go through the right institution to apply for the right, correct department, if I get it right, I'm telling you, this is a secret. I'm going to get this without no ID, no argument, and no discussion. And I'm going to have the money and everything to be able to put down. Like, whatever they ask me for, I'll be able to produce that in a certain amount of days. I'm going to put up episodes letting you guys know what's going on with that. Because remember, I said I'm not going to put down a security deposit. I'm, 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 not, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to put down the first either six months to a year and do it that way. And, and set that up as a form of a bank account and do banking through my living. 
is what I'm essentially going to be doing is like I'm banking through my actual living process and hopefully I can turn a profit over for them and show them that in six months then they're going to either drop my rent or help me find a better place. So I'm going to let you guys know I'm going to get myself together and show you guys this process because I believe it's going to work. So, so far we've been successful. We turned over a profit. We're going to go ahead and work in the community out here to see, you know, what kind of um, finance I can produce off of this profit. Just, it's 13 racks out there. So that's potential that you can get through this March Madness game that I invest in. I'm not going to disclose which one because I don't want to mix this up into competition and competing because this is private invested through credit and doing private bets on games essentially that's what i'm doing so it was a success though it was based off of a um a trip i did i told you guys i took a certain trip a couple of episodes back at a certain state and i was able to keep all those commodities the state does not hold those commodities i was able to hold them privately through a couple partners and um programs that i'm already set up and affiliated with through the community so we're going to see how this process goes and i'll let you guys know how it goes in the future. As always, stay vigilant. Namaste.